Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lucy Dreaming. Today we're going to be heading into the Ferret's Head pub and hopefully having a conversation with the former detective on the murder case. Now, I know who this is. You might not know who it is. Um, we'll just have a chat with people. It looks like a pointy cat with big teeth. Yeah, that's a fox. Um, <laughs> it's His an old guy. Badge says Curly. Curly, I hello Curly. the owner of the dog? Dog, yeah, dog, fox. Hello. I wouldn't bother. He's hardly spoken a word in ten years. Fascinating. Okay. Very Not fascinating. Really. No, I suppose it isn't. <laughs> so here's the guy with the half-eaten pie. Um, let's speak to the landlord first. He's the first. lord of the land. He is. Damn right I am. Damn right you are. Let's speak to him. A pint of your finest ale, please, barkeep. A pint of your finest ale, please, barkeep. That ain't gonna happen. But I have a library card to prove I'm old enough, look. According to that, you're 76 years old. Yeah, we are. And a man. Yeah. And dead. Yeah. So you're either an underage girl with appalling forgery skills, <laughs> or a septuagenarian zombie. Either way, you can jog on. Oh, come on. Is that a no, then? Sharp as a tack, you are. <laughs> Who's the guy with the dog? Who's the guy with the... dog? Oh, don't mind him. That's just Curly, the caretaker. Don't worry, he can't hear us. He's completely deaf. He worked as a caretaker at that theme park for all of about half an hour. Ah. He's the one who discovered the owner's body on the opening night. Oh. Works at the local school now, though. Oh, yeah. I didn't recognise him without his plunger. <laughs> the kids at the school tease him something chronic, but he's got thick skin. That's good. At least it doesn't bother him. No, I mean, literally, he has incredibly thick skin. <laughs> Hands like falconer's gauntlets. Right. Face like a leather knapsack. Right. Poor guy. Yeah. No idea where he got the dog, though. He feeds it on pork scratchings. Right. Lucky for me, no one else has teeth strong enough to eat them. <laughs> All right, who's the guy with the laptop? Who's the guy with the laptop? He used to work for the police, but now he writes reviews on the parish council's blog. I never read him, though. I don't need some incomer telling me how to think. <laughs> with his out-of-town taste buds right. and his fancy foreign wordlage. Right, okay, fine. Well, bye. Bye. Bye, then. By okay. the way, don't miss our live music extravaganza later today. Oh, yeah? Ooh, what sort of music? Grungy grime. Oh. You're hosting a live grungy grime extravaganza? Sorry, no, I just noticed a bit of muck on the floor <laughs> there. To be honest, I'm not really sure what the music will be like. But the chap has a big bushy beard, so it's bound to be good. Well, that's just the law, isn't it? Sound logic? Yeah, just the law. Oh, God, look at all this stuff. Come on, glass. <laughs> a tribute to Fergus Fig. Yeah, we've got some glasses up here. More glasses. Uh, look at all these they drinks. They don't look healthy. No, they're probably not. Floaty bits. The beer with chunks. Ugh. Warm bladder. <laughs> Watery fowl contains local pond water. Yeah. No one wants rain in their cocktail. Can we grab that little umbrella? I can't reach them. No, okay. They serve calling and monsters. Calling and monsters, wow. Salty cracks. Can we go through here? I wonder what sumptuous creations emerge from there. Yeah, it's probably best not to. I don't want to. There are weird smells coming from the kitchen. <sighs> it's probably best we don't go in there. I could go for a game of pool right now. We don't have a pool table. Oh, let's save them for the zombie apocalypse then. <laughs> yeah, why not? Aye, that's the plan. Okay, it's a trophy. 1983 Dry Roasted Peanut Flicking Championship. <laughs> nice. It's made of pewter. Can we can we grab any of these things? I can't reach it. Okay, we can't reach it. Can we... I don't need to carry around a stool in any sense of the word. This one's got a repaired leg they on it. They look well sat on. Fruit machine? It looks well used. Apart from the coin reward tray. <laughs> Can we give it a go? I wouldn't even know where to start. Right, so there's a rat About hole. the right size for your typical pub rat. Yeah, okay. Well, some chairs. Uh, there's a socket here. Oh, look, Seafax. Does anyone remember Seafax? yellow and manky. If you're in the UK, you will. Probably not if you're in America or anything. I don't want to mess with the telly. That's weird. I didn't think Teletext was supported anymore. <laughs> it's not. The local topography trapped the signal over a decade ago. Right. And it's been bouncing back and forth over the town ever since. Showing the same football scores day in, day <laughs> out. Luckily, the Figginton Ferrets haven't scored a goal in over 40 years, so it's never been wrong yet. 
Right, wasn't it like 3 something? Wasn't Sport like 302 or something like that? I can't remember. That seems like a pretty stupid place for a dartboard. Yeah. You're telling me. You might recognise the voice. You might recognise it. You should recognise it. Let's talk. Enjoy your lunch. Enjoy your lunch. I literally don't know how to describe it. <laughs> Did you used to be a police officer? Did you used to be a police officer? Back in a previous life. The name's Woody. I'm a dining critic now. I visit all the local eateries and review them for the parish council. Is that basically just this pub and the Fig Hall Cafe? <laughs> Wait, there's a cafe? Well, that's just doubled my workload. Ah, oh, no. Were you also a pirate in a former life as well? Why did you swap the police force for food? Why did you swap the police force for food? Back when I was younger, I trained hard to be accepted into the force. I learned combat, investigative skills, and was even captain of a small team. Yeah, but I never discovered the true secret of fitting in. Other officers were jealous of my achievements and wanted revenge. That's just the curse of success, I suppose. I had to escape, <laughs> so I started a new career. That's the end of my tales from the police force. <laughs> the Monkey Island you know, references. I may return to it one day, but I'm sure it's changed a lot since I left. <laughs> Probably not as much as you'd think. <laughs> oh, well, God. Maybe. But I've found true happiness doesn't come from a shiny badge on your chest. It's found at the bottom of a bowl of delicious stew, the middle of a satisfying toasty, the topping on a hot crumble. Unfortunately, I'm yet to find any of those in this town. I can imagine, yeah. What can you tell me about the Fig Brothers case? What can you tell me about the Fig Brothers case? Right now, not a lot. I've got a deadline for the Figgington Parish Council's blog. If I don't get my pie of the day review written up soon, it'll be obsolete. <laughs> what was in the pie? It's not so much about the feeling. I review the whole experience. The trouble is, recently I've been getting a lot of flack for my reviews. Aye. Our readership want their reviews written for locals, by locals. I've lived here for over 10 years, but I still haven't quite got the hang of the provincial dialect. <laughs> I need to find regional words to put into my reviews. Ah. To make them sound more authentically local. Okay, what local words do you need? What local words do you need? Uh, let me see. I need good local words for insipid, leathery, <laughs> caustic. Sounds like you've had a roller coaster. Yeah, for doesn't lunch. sound great. In a lot of ways, eating a roller coaster would have been less traumatic. <laughs> Could you help me source some local expressions for my review? Yeah, maybe. Then I'll tell you what I can about the case. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, fine, we need some words. Where am I supposed to find these local words? Where am I supposed to find these local words from? I don't know. Look around and chat to people, maybe? Okay, fine. I'm not sure what some of those words even mean. I'm not sure what some of those words even mean. Sorry, I, I need to write the rest of my review now. Maybe try a dictionary? <laughs> Alright, fine. Bye. 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 Alright, so we can talk to people for these words. If you didn't get it yet, it's uh, Dominic Armato, of course, the voice of Guybrush Threepwood. Do you have any words? Uh, can you help me out with some local words? Can you help me out with some local words? Well, so you can help Egon Ronnie over there slag off our <laughs> pies. No chance. Come on. Bye. Bye then. <laughs> We're not going to slag Hello. off the pies. I wouldn't bother. He's hardly spoken a word in ten years. Fascinating. Not right. really. No, I suppose it isn't. Let, let's find some people who can help us out with, with the words for these these pies and things, all right? Just gonna have to talk to everyone, I guess. Uh, looking for some local words. I'm looking for some local words. You mean like loitering? No. I'll ask someone else. All right, anything new, anything by the way? Anything new? No, none of it's new. But there have been some more weasel incidents added to the map this week. Oh. Weasel incidents, eh? Bye. See ya. Can we... Looks like our house was built where the old theme park used to be. Lots of weasel attacks near our house. That's interesting. Uh, I can't remember if you saw that before or not. Let's look at our book anyway. Add inspiration to the Dreambox holiday related. Discover local words for a pirate. What is that sound? Sounds like somebody like scrubbing something. The parking car. Yeah, I know it's for parking cars. Oh, it's this guy. He's got a bucket and some fruity shooty. He's working those wings with some fine scrubbing. Uh, you're right here, buddy. I need to find some local words. I need to find some local words. Well, there are plenty sprayed all over me shop walls. 
<laughs> All right. Hello again. Hello again. Wow, this day just keeps getting better. <laughs> what do you want now? Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What does it look like? Uh, <laughs> filing your nails, defacing property, providing a handy MacGuffin, <laughs> removing my brother's handiwork. Removing probably. my brother's handiwork. What? Not funny. I mean, I'm trying it to is. get this bloody graffiti off the front of his shop. At least it's only a short name. Oh, this is just the tip of the filth bag. Some little scrolls broke in through my storeroom window and scribbled all over my walls. It's going oh. to take me hours to get it all off. Sorry about that. Oh, can I go in and take a look? Whatever, just don't nick anything. I've left Dirty Harry in charge. <laughs> Right, okay. What did they write on your walls? What did they write on your walls? Go in and see for yourself. I don't even know what half of it means. Alright, well, uh, what are you using to get the graffiti off? What are you using to get the graffiti off? Bubblegum fruity shooty. Figures. Does, does that work? I'll just leave you to it. <laughs> Makes you wonder if we should be drinking it if you can scrub walls with it, doesn't it? Right, what, what are we supposed to be seeing in here? Stuff all over the walls. Or was it outside he was talking about? Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Do you know any words? Does he even speak? Your boss said I could go and have a look at the storeroom. Let's do that in a minute. Can you help me with some local words? Can you help me with some local words? Words aren't really my thing. I'm a man of action. Of course you are. In charge at last, I see. In charge at last, I see. I knew my time would come. Just don't go giving stuff away. That's what he said. Maybe we'll have to Do get I some stuff. Do I look like a complete idiot? Uh, <laughs> your boss also said I could have a free lolly. Uh, your boss also said I could have a free lolly too. Oh, really? Is that right? Well, if the boss said so, why don't you just help yourself? Cool, thanks. <laughs> we'll we'll uh, do just that. Sorry, did that come across as sarcastic? Seriously, just take one if you want it. Alright, fine. Uh, how did your boss like your new pricing structure? How did your boss like your new pricing structure? He wasn't keen, bless him. I don't think he's great at numberology. Right, yeah. I, I don't know if many people are are great at that, to be honest. So you've got the pricing gun. Still got the pricing gun. Yeah, I don't want anyone messing with me. I suppose no one wants a price on hey. their head. Bam. Very good. All right, bye. bye. Uh, can we grab this? No, we can't. All right, let's ask him about the storeroom then. Your boss said I could go and have a look at the storeroom. Cool, if he said it was okay, I believe you. Thanks. Uh, you're very trusting, aren't you? You're very trusting, aren't you? Oh, I think I'm clever enough to spot a dishonest customer when I see one. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. Bye. Bye. Uh, right, let's head into the store. Okay, actually, let's see if we can grab some ice cream. Oh, wait, this is the ice cream, right? Yeah, this is the... Can we just take stuff from here? One is more than enough. No, one is more than enough. I'm not thirsty. I just want to see if we can... Even with my incredible fate library idea, I might struggle. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, remember all that's in there. Let's let's uh, let's uh pick up something from the, the freezer. I don't need any ice cream. Oh, but we can get free it's ice cream. It's already open. I think they're using it as an air conditioner. <laughs> Probably don't want to eat that ice cream then. All right, we're in. Oh. <gasps> Ugh. Highly decorated porcelain. Wow, someone's had a really bad time in here. Yeah, there's a bottle. I think they use it in emergencies when the toilet's out of action. Lovely. No, I don't think it's drinkable. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Boxes. There's tons of stuff here. Bernard Mayhew's chicken drumsticks. <laughs> Shouldn't these be in the freezer? Probably. Yeah, probably. I don't really want any of this stuff. Alright, fine. There's some jars. These look like they've been here for years. Do we want a jar? I don't need any. No, we don't. More boxes. There's a fur coat. Ah, genuine dead rat pelts. Ugh. The shopkeeper sure knows how to cover up in style. There's even more graffiti behind it. Oh, there's more graffiti. Can we... I can't reach the hook. Oh, okay. We can't reach the hook. I'll read a bit that isn't covered up. My sister is a spongoose. Hmm, I recognise that handwriting. <laughs> that would be uh, our brother, Club would it? the police. This shop smells like wee. 
Can't argue with that. <laughs> Brian hates tits. <laughs> he probably hates people who steal cameras too by now. Figgington sucks bottoms. <laughs> Ne'er a truer word was scrawled. Lloyd is all cockles. That's definitely false advertising. <laughs> I'll read a bit that isn't covered up. My sister is a spongoose. Hmm. I recognise that handwriting. Okay, so I think we're going to have to... Ah, genuine dead rat pelts. The shopkeeper sure knows how to cover up in style. We're going to have There's to try and... more graffiti behind it. I think we'll have to try and get this down somehow, but we can't reach it. Uh, let's head outside and talk to this guy again, see if there's anything else he can say. Uh, no, okay, I'll leave I'll you to it. I'll just leave you to it. <laughs> Alright, let's head off. Uh, we'll use the bike, we'll go somewhere else, see if anyone else can help us with our, um, our words. The guy, the, uh, the former police chief guy also suggested a dictionary, so maybe we can get a dictionary from the library, I don't know. We'll see, maybe that wasn't even a clue, but we'll, uh, we'll try and figure that out next time. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching, a big thank you to my patrons, Arcadies Games, Wayne, Nate, Termly Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, and Coomadin, and I'll see you next time.